I have started the recording process. Once again, good evening, everyone, and thank you for attending our Makeup Class for tonight. So tonight, what is the topic? We'll just continue our discussion with the uh, process of differentiation. So if you recall, last night, we're able to solve these two examples, no? Applying the rule for differentiating product and <coughs> quotient. Sorry. Ah, parang yung nainom ko eh. Nag-valuable kami mula alas 5 hanggang mga 6.45. So after that, uh, kumain ako. <laughs> yung huli kong kain ay mga alas ano parang gab umaga. Alas 11. Tapos hindi ako nakapag-lunch. After that, uh, gutom na gutom ako bago nag-volleyball. So, nung simula pa lang, sumakit na yung sikmura ako hanggang sa nawala. Na-tolerate na ng katawan yung sakit. Hanggang sa ayan, dapat maximum of 7 yung ilaw sa barang, sa ano sa court ng barangay. Usually, bitin kami. Kasi pin pinapatay na yung ilaw by 7. Pero kanina kami yung sumuko. Mga 6.45 pa lang pagod na kaming lahat. Kasi ka, 2V2 v lang yun eh. Tapos parang lima kami. So yung isa, setter. <laughs> Palipat-lipat siya ng court. <laughs> Double Kaya setter. Kaya position sa volleyball? Wala. Wala akong position. <laughs> 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 Kahit ano. Hindi kasi ako malakas. <laughs> Mahilig lang, pero hindi ako malakas. Most of the time, syempre hindi, ako, hindi kasi ako makatalon. Wala akong talon. Wala akong palo. May receive. So, utility tayo. <laughs> Nagahabol sa bola. Ganun. Kasi sanay tayo maghabol. Alam mo yun. Ah, <laughs> So, if you want, you can dayo here. Dayo kayo minsan. Ano? Kapag uh, Sunday, pwede kayong dumayo. Walang pasok. No? Or, uh, sabihin nyo sa akin kung anong araw nyo gusto nang dumayo. <laughs> Schedule ko kayo din sa aking barangay. No? May mga estudyante na ako na pumunta din para magdaro. Tapos, uh, diretso overnight. So, ayun. Hmm. <laughs> Patay natin ng Facebook. <laughs> Kasi baka mamaya may... Uh, shung! <laughs> shung! Ayan. So, ito. Nasolda natin ito kagabi. Tapos ito itutuloy lang natin, no? If F and G are functions such that, ah, so basically, ano lang yan, eh. Uh, Rinaright ko lagi kasi maarte ako, eh. No? Meron tayo yung derivative, no? If U is a function of X. Sir, sir wala po yeah. ng percent I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna present my entire screen. Oh, I don't. Can you now see my screen? Yes, brother. Yes. yes. Yeah. So if, oh no. Mas ah, pala yung nakikita. Eh, paano ka nga? May hindi ko alam. Oh, may nakikita. Hindi pala nakakabit ko ng aking ano. Pen tablet. Sana gumagana na siya. Hindi pa rin. Pasa ka. Ayun. Okay. If mas maganda ako magsulat sa school. Mas maganda yung pen tablet doon. U is a function of x. Therefore, meron tayong u as a function of x. Ano ang derivative with respect to x of u raised to n? No? And n is an integer. Okay. If you say function of x and n is an integer, no? or a fraction, integer or fraction, then anong derivative ng u raised to n? So, ang gawin lang natin is parang yung derivative ng product n multiplied by u raised to n minus 1 multiplied by du over dx. Naintindihan po ba? No, following same rule. Naintindihan? 
Okay. So, halimbawa niyan, ay are, f of x, ano daw ang f, kung ang f of x daw ay equal sa x cubed. So, x cubed minus 2x plus 3. Tapos, ang lahat lang yan ay nakakube. Okay. Ano ngayon yung f prime of x? So, simple lang. So, ito yung u natin, yung nasa loob. Tapos, ito yung n. So, itong uh, coefficient, uh, exponent natin, magiging coefficient yan. 3 times, kopyahin mo lang to x cube Bakit mo may control doon? Control. Ayan. x cube minus 2x plus 3. Tapos, minus 1. So, squared na lang. And then, kuhanan mo ng derivative yung nasa loob. So, sabay-sabay, anong derivative yung nasa loob? 3x squared minus 2x squared minus 2x. Minus 2, hindi na 2x. Ito no? na lang. No? Ito na lang. Okay? So, we now have this expression. Kung gusto mo, eh di, uh, yan na yun, no? Simplified na. Okay na to. This is your derivative. Naintindihan po? Yes po. Yes po. How about another one? Find the derivative of y. y equals square root of 2x cubed plus 1 raised to 5. Mas masarap talaga magsulat dun sa pen tablet sa school. Kumpara din sa ginagamit ko sa bahay. Okay, so paano ara eh? So, here. Diba itong to the one half ay ano? Square root. So we can write this y as 2x cubed plus 1 raised to 5 halves. Naintindihan po ba? So, yes, yes. Yung formula yes, Una, integer dito yung you know, n is an integer. So here, n is an integer. In this example here, n is a fraction. Diba? Kaya, applicable pa rin yung formula. y prime equals, ano mangyayari dun sa exponent? Magiging coefficient, magiging 5 halves. And then, kukopyahin mo lang to. 2x cubed plus 1, tapos yung exponent, ma-minusan mo ng 1. 5 halves minus 2 halves is 3 halves. And don't forget, get the derivative of u. So, this becomes 6x squared. Naintindihan po ba? Hello? Yes, Papa. Na pwede yes, natin simplify kasi itong 6 divided by 2 ay 3. Naintindihan po ba? At yung 3 na yun, imumultiply ko ng 5 magiging 15. So, 15 x squared, inuna ko na to, multiplied by 2x cubed plus 1 raised to 3 halves. So there you go. We have our derivative. May intindihan po ba? Di ba madali yes, lang? Yes, sir. Dali lang. Sobrang dali lang. <laughs> ano? Sino nang dadayo ng volleyball din sa amin? <laughs> Diretso swimming tayo. Tingnan niyo yung my day ko. Ay, wala na pala. Kahapon pa pala yun. Nag-expire na. May ko kasi yung itsura ng dagat ini sa amin. Sobrang kalma kahapon. Ganda. Pakita ko na lang sa inyo. Ito na lang. No, Kita ko saan kayo? Pabini. Nakikita niyo ang wallpaper ko? Apa. Ayan. Yan ang sunrise. Sunrise din sa amin. <laughs> Tapos. Maroon pa ba? Ay, pakita ko nga sa inyo. Windows D. Uh, pictures. Desktop wallpapers. Asa na? Ito. Mga mahihilig ako sa photography. Charis. <laughs> Aray, sunset din sa amin. <laughs> Yan, sunset din sa amin. Diba? Ako kumuha niyan. Just tagaytay. <laughs> Yan, sunset dito sa amin. O, diba? O, ito, download ng wallpaper. Yan yun, yung wallpaper ko ngayon. Yan, and then. O, ang galing daw. O, sakto, diba? Yung sunrise. Nandun sa bundok. Ngayon. <laughs> Tabing dagat lang yung bahay namin. Okay, diba? Saan pa? Ano yung mga, mga beaches? 
Ang beach na napuntahan ko. Makita ko sa inyo mga napuntahan ko ang beach. Yan. This is actually in Boracay. Pero hindi ako, ito sa Maldives. Pero hindi, ito sa Boracay din yan, Boracay. <laughs> yan. O oh, yan, dito sa amin. <laughs> hindi na white sand. Yan, dito na yan sa amin. O, oh, dito. <laughs> This one is in Dingalan, Aurora. Yan, ako kumuha niyan. Solo travel yan. <laughs> Solo travel sa circus na is sad. O, oh, diba? Yan yung dagat dito sa amin. Malino, malinis. Sir, tagaan nila po kayo? Yes, sir, tagaan nila dyan. <laughs> Meron? Wala pala eh. <laughs> Hindi naman exact pong Anilaw. Uh, malapit lang sa Anilaw. San Jose ako. San Jose. Ayan. This one is in Romblon. The Twin Beach of Boracay. In Romblon. O ako yan. <laughs> Kanan siya. Uh, this one is in uh, Romblon. Bonbon Beach. In Romblon. Ayan. O kumuha niyan. Ah, diba? Mahil kasi ako mag-beach. Because life is a beach. Ayan. <laughs> Ayan. Dito sa amin yan. Ayan. Oh, uh, Bonbon Beach. Ayan, hindi na sa balko din ang aking bahay. <laughs> Kita mo yung ano, sagat. Oh, di ba? Ang ganda. This one is in Masasa, in Tingloy. Ayan, Masasa Beach, sa Tingloy. Hmm, kalma-kalma. <laughs> Ayan, kayak ako. Uh, ito ay the day before Christmas of 20, 2019 yata. <laughs> This one is in Malabak, in Palawan. Ako kumuha niyan. <laughs> Sobrang ganda, promise. Yan, ako to. <laughs> ah, diba? Taray. <laughs> Ayun, sineko. Ah, ito yun. Mukhang ano lang, diba? Mukhang kinapit lang. Pero totoong beach yan. Ganyan kalino yung tubig. Walang edit yan. <laughs> ito. In Corona. Sir, phone po ang ginamit na pang picture. Ang yeah, ganda. iPhone. iPhone lang yan, iPhone. iPhone 6. <laughs> yung dati yung iPhone. Charis. Wala na. Ayun lang. <laughs> so, balik na tayo sa klase. Ano? <laughs> Wala taga mabini dito. May taga mabini ba? Wala. Sa Alessandra. Taga saan ka, Alessandra? Taga Laurel po. Ah, taga bundok. <laughs> taga gulukod baboy. <laughs> ah, sige. Next example. Are, find the derivative of y is equal to y is equal to the cube root of x minus 3 over x plus 3. So, paano yan? Ha? Paano yan? Hindi express mo muna siya as uh, a uh, function with a fractional exponent no? x minus 3 over x plus 3 raised to 1 third. So we let u be equal to this expression x minus 3 over x plus 3 and then y prime is equal to derivative ng u raised to n is equal to n which is 1 third times u. Kopyahin mo lang yung x minus 3 over x plus 3 and then minusan mo ng 1. 1 third minus 1 is negative 2 thirds, and then derivative nito, which is derivative ng quotient. Ano ang derivative ng u over v? Remember, it's a derivative with respect to x of u over v. That's v du over dx minus u times dv over dx over v squared. So, unahin ko yung una, ay yung ilalim. No? So, that's Ayan. So, x plus 3 times the derivative ng numerator, 1 minus yung numerator, the derivative of the denominator, which is also 1 over yung denominator, square mo, x plus 3 squared. So, tapos na. No? Kasi nakuha na natin ang derivative yung u. Okay, so now, 
we simplify y prime equals magiging ano to x plus 3 tapos x minus 3 so magiging x minus x di po ba hello cancel na yung x and then 3 minus negative 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 6 divided by 3 is 2 so 2 na lang 2 times uh, 2 over sunod ko na to x plus 3 squared multiplied by eto x minus 3 over x plus 3 raised to negative 2 thirds so ito na yung final answer mo ngayon yan na yung simplified form of the final answer naiintindihan po ba kung ba't nakaganon so dito na cancel yung x x minus x and then 3 minus negative 3 is positive 6. 6 times, or 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, may natirang 2. Tapos ito, inilagay ko lang sa unahan. Tapos kinapi ko to. Okay? Next example. Find the derivative of y equals x minus 1 cubed times x plus 1 raised to 4. Okay. Paano natin to indifferentiate? Hello? Di ba ito ay product? We let this be equal to u and let this be equal to v. Naintindihan po ba? Yes, sir. Apo. Yes, ano nga ang derivative with respect to x of u times v? That's u v prime plus v u prime. Diba? Hello? Yes po. Okay. So here, we write our y prime. Kopyahin natin yung u. So x minus 1 cube times derivative nito. So, derivative is 4 times ito, x plus 1 cubed multiplied by the derivative of x plus 1, 1. And then plus, kopyahin mo naman yung pangalawang term, x plus 1 raised to 4 multiplied by the derivative of this. So, we have 3 times x minus 1 squared na lang multiplied by derivative ng x minus 1. 1 pa rin. Let's simplify. y prime equals ito magiging 4 times x minus 1 cubed times x plus 1 cubed plus dito 3. So 3 times x plus 1 to the 4th x minus 1 squared. Naintindihan po ba? Yes po. Uh, yes, po. May common factor dyan eh. May common factor. Ano common factor? x minus 1 squared. No? x minus 1 squared. Ano pa? x plus 1 cubed. Ito, x plus 1 cubed. Okay. Dito, ano matitira? Yung 4. Kulang pa ng x minus 1. Naintindihan? Yes, yes po, sir. Tapos plus, dito naman, ano kulang? 3. So, x plus 1 to the 4th. So, x plus 1 yung kulang. Kasi x plus 1 cube lang yan. Tapos, x minus 1 squared is ito na siya. So, this is the simplified form of the final answer using common factors. Naintindihan? Yes, po. Diba madali lang? Sobrang dali. <laughs> Next. General rule for differentiation. Actually, ito na yung chain rule na sinasabi ko sa inyo. No? Chain rule. Kailan nga ginagamit yung chain rule? Kapag meron tayong composite function.
Saying a rule for differentiation. Okay? U is a function of x, then d y over dx is equal to dy over du multiplied by du over dx. Thank you, po ba? Yes, okay. Yes, So, yun. dy over dx is equal to dy over du times d over dx. Okay? So, halimbawa, given that y is equal to 2 squared minus 1 and u squared plus 1 and u is equal to a cube root of x squared plus 2. Hanapin daw natin yung dy over dx. Ano ha? Yung dy over dx, that's equal to dy over du. Ito muna. So hanapin muna natin yung dy over du. Ano ang dy over du? We apply the derivative of a quotient denominator. So, we have u squared plus 1 multiplied by the derivative of the numerator, 2u, and then minus u squared minus 1 multiplied by 2u ule over uh, u squared plus 1, ito yun, squared. Simplify ko lang ha, yung dy over du. So, meron akong common factor na 2u multiplied by 2 squared plus 1 minus minus u squared minus 1. Ang tindihan po ba? Yes, sir. Apa. Over u squared plus 1 squared. Simplify natin to. dy over du equals 2u multiplied by u squared minus u squared. Wala na yun. Diba? 1 minus negative 1 is positive 2 over u squared plus 1 squared is equal to, para sa'yo na yan, because it's for you, <laughs> over u squared plus 1 squared. Yan. Next, yung dy over du, multiply natin sa du over dx. No? Hanapin muna natin ang du over dx, kung saan ito yung u. So this becomes, di ba one third yan? So one third times, Yung nasa loob na x squared plus 2 raised to 1 third minus 1 is negative 2 thirds times the derivative of this which is 2x. Naintindihan po ba? Hello. So we have 2x over 3 times x squared plus 2 raised to negative 2 thirds. Ayan. Okay. So, kunin na natin ngayon yung dy over dx. dy over dx is equal to dy over du. Ito yun. For u over u squared plus 1. Squared multiplied by b over dx. So, 2x over 3 times x squared plus 2 to the minus 2 thirds. Okay. 
Ali pala, X squared pala yung my bad. Sorry. Okay. So, gawin natin ito in terms of X lahat. Now, what is the Y over the X? Ano ba yung U? Diba yung U kanina ay ito? X squared plus 2 to the 1 third. No? So, magiging 4 times this 8. No? Saan nga equal yung U? U is X squared plus 2. X squared plus 2. Wala ko. 4 times, you know, 4 times is 8. U is X squared plus 2 raised to negative 1 third. Ah, positive 1 third pala. Titin ko ha. Itong U na to, ito yun. So, X squared plus 2 raised to negative 1 third. Lagyan lang natin ang X. No? So, dapat pala yung X na yun, hindi ko nilagay sa unahan. No? 8 X. Naintindihan po ba yun? Tapos, lagay pa rin natin itong X squared plus 2. Raise to negative 2 thirds. Divided by yung U. Ano nga yung U? Di ba ito yun? Uh, X squared plus 2. Raise to 1 third. Times e square ko. So, magiging 2 thirds na to. Yun. Gets? So, lalagyan ko ng 3. Kasi may 3 doon. Naintindihan po? Yes po. Yes po. Tapos, simplify pa natin ito. Oh, X squared plus 2. So, same sila ng base. Anong ginagawa sa exponent? Ina-add. 1 third minus 2 third. Negative 1 third. So, we have 8 x multiplied by x squared plus 2 raised to negative 1 third divided by x squared plus 2 raised to 2 thirds. So, ito, same ng base. Anong ginagawa? Pinagmaminus yung exponent. So, negative 1 third, no, negative 1 third minus 2 thirds. Anong sagot? Negative 3 over 3 or negative 1. Naintindihan po pa? Yes, sir. So, ano na lang ang sagot? Eh, di negative 1. 8x over x squared plus 2. Ito na yung sagot. Sir, ba't naging ganyan? Kasi nga ito di negative 1. So, kung ito di negative 1, nasa ilalim yung expression mo. Naintindihan po ba? So, this is the simplified form of the final answer. Thank you, Nihan. Sir. Yes. Apa, sir. Um, you, dun po sa u squared plus 1 raised to 2 po. But wala po dun, wala, nawala na po siya dun sa next process po, yung plus 1 po. Ah, oo, oh, oh, sir. Ito, no? U squared. U squared. Ah, ah sir. Dito yun ano? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, itong u, ito yun. In square ko, then plus 1. Ah, oo nga, ano? Ito yung u squared. No? Plus 1. Tapos, Square ko pa. Ayun, yun na yun. So, hindi ko naman sa-simplify. No? Kasi hindi ko na mapagsama yun. Ayan. Thank you po. Thank you for that. So, ito. Anong ginawa natin? Pinagsama natin. Like, one third minus two thirds is negative. One third. Tama yun. So, yung maba. yun na siya. 3 times x squared plus 2 
raise to 2 thirds plus 1 squared. Ayan na siya. So, hindi na natin siya masisimplify. Naintindihan? Okay na to. Pwede na yan. Wait lang po. Ako lang iinom. Hello, I'm back. Wait lang. Sinarge ko lang yung speaker. So, mukhang mananod kami mo. Oh my God! May movie night na naman. Hmm? You learn. Kalma, kalma. <laughs> Patingin naman ang mga faces. Mag-on mag -on cam naman kayo. Sir, pasensya na po. Nakadata lang po ako. Nakadata ka lang. Okay, ayun yung iba. Ah, ayan. <laughs> Solve pa tayo ng isa. Last example. Nakita nyo ba kung paano natin ito sinol? Medyo mahaba-haba yun ha. Mahaba-haba yun. <laughs> so, kinakailangan talaga hindi kayo malito sa algebra dyan ha. Yung mga pag-multiply. Be careful. Kasi kapag ka, nagkamali kayo ng konti, hanggang dulo, mali na yun. No? Are. Find dy over dx. Given that. Okay. Kunta natin ako ulit ng ink. Natin y. That y equals uh, x cubed minus 3x plus 5. And x equals one half square root of t plus three. Ayan. Okay. Meron tayong y as a function of x and x as a function of t. Hanapin daw ang dy over dt. What is your dy over dt? So remember that dy over dt is equal to dy over dx multiplied by dx over dt. Computein muna natin yung dy over dx. Ito yun, dy as a function of x. So what is our dy over dx? This is, hello, sabay-sabay. 
Hello? 3 x squared. Greg minus 3. Minus 3. Minus 3. And then how about? Minus 3. Dx over dt. Saan naman equal yung dx over dt? So, compute natin. So, we have 1 half multiplied by square root of this t raised to 1 half. So, that's another 1 half, right? Multiplied by t. 1 half minus 1 is negative. 1 half. Hello? So, this is equal to 1 over 4. 4 square root of t. Naintindihan po ba? Yes po. Hello? So, now, what is my dy over dt? Here, dy over dt equals this. We have 3 x squared minus 3 multiplied by 1 over ano yan, 4 square root of t. However, we need to express everything in terms of t. Remember that x is equal to 1 over, so gawin natin yan, 3 multiplied by, ano nga yung x? Ito yun. So that's 1 half multiplied by square root of t. Hello? Naintindihan? Yes, sir. Ito, ito yung x. Tapos ay plus 3. Naintindihan? Yes. Saka mo siya i-square at ma-minus sa ng 3. Hello? So, dito ito ha. Itong 3 na ito, kinopya ko lang. Ha? Tapos, itong x na to pinalitan ko ng 1 half square root of t plus 3. Saho na square. And then, minusan ko ng 3. Gets? Gets po. Yes, Tapos, George. yung parenthesis, baka magkamali. O yun, parenthesis. Ayun. Saka ko siya lalagyan ng 1 over or square root of t. Yun. Next. Ano sa load? Uh, ano pwede kong gawin dyan? A common factor yung 3. 3 times Ito. So, we have 1 half times square root of t plus 3. Tapos, squared minus 1. Ayun. Tapos, are, kopyahin ko na lang doon. 4 square root of t. Naintindihan po ba? <laughs> Naintindihan? Yes. Hello. So, yung 3 na to, at saka 3 na yun, ginawa kong common factor. Tapos, kinopya ko to, and then minus 1 na lang. Tapos ito, nilagay ko na lang doon, denominator ng 3. So, this is our simplified final answer. So, let natin ha, dy over dt should be in terms of t. No? Di ba na magkasama yung x at saka yung t? Pero since yan ay dy over dt, dapat everything else is in terms of t. So, we have 3 over 4 square root of t multiplied by uh -huh, 1 half times square root of t plus 3 squared minus 1. There we go. And I have our final answer. And So, pirma naman ang university president. Ayahin natin. Pira so irong kilio. Ayan. Yung pirma sa inyong mga ID. <laughs> Pangit. Ulit. <laughs> Kaliwete kasi yun eh. Kaya mahirap kaya yun. Ay, ako'y kanan. Ah. Oh, di pa. <laughs> That's what's called talent. <laughs> Pawin natin. Pawin natin. Pagalitan tayo. Okay, so I think uh, okay na yun for tonight. <laughs> I uh, think sir, okay na yun. Yes. Pwede po magtanong. 
Yes, ano pa? Dun po sa last example. Hmm. Oh, bakit po nagka negative one nga po? Ito? Apo, apo. Kasi po common factor yung 3. So minus 1 na lang kasi nasa ah. labas na yung 3. Sige po. Get po. Thank you po. Ay na. Apo, thank you po. Ah, isa pa. Kasi meron pa pala isang example dito oh. O, kulang na lang. Eh ito. Ayun. Di ba? Ito 'yon. If y is equal to sa so, example. Last na talaga. Y is equal to x squared minus 4x tapos x equals square root of 2t squared plus 1 and find daw ang dy over dt when t equals square root of 2. Ayun. So dito, may makuha tayong numerical value. Hanapin muna natin yung dy over dx. Ano yung dy over dx? We have 2x minus, can you follow guys? Yes Papa, po. Minus 2x two. minus 4. How about your dx over dt? So yung dx over dt mo ay 1 half times, kopyahin yung nasa loob. 2t squared plus 1 and then yung 1 half, may minusan mo ng 1. So negative 1 half. And don't forget to differentiate what's inside. Anong derivative nito nasa loob? 4 2. t. Kasi 2 times 2. Hello? Simplify natin to Magiging 4 over 2 is 2. Right? So we have 2t multiplied by 2 t squared plus 1 raised to negative 1 half. Now, let us find dy over dt. dy over dt is equal to yung dy over dx. So, you have 2x minus 4 multiplied by dx over dt. Na 2t times 2t squared plus 1 raised to negative 1 half. And we need to express everything else in terms of x. Diba? So we have 2 times, ano nga yung x? 2t squared plus 1. Tapos ay, ito yun, x. Pero yun ay square root. So to the 1 half pa. Naintindihan po ba? 2 yes. at ito yung x. 2, yung x na to, pinaltan ko lang nun. 2t squared plus 1 raised to 1 half. No? Then, kopyahin natin yung minus 4. No? Minus 4. Lagyan mo ng closing bracket para dito. So, ito, ito na siya ngayon. So, ito, ito na siya ngayon. Naintindihan po ba? Yes. At ito po, ito yung x. Ito yung x. Tapos, ano pa? 2t. Nakopyahin ko lang ha. Control, we have 2t multiplied by 2t squared plus 1 raised to negative 1 half. So, evaluate natin kapag ang t ay negative 2, square root of 2. No? So, ito magiging dy over dt equals, kopyahin ko lang yung 2. Ah, ito 2 times 2 is 40. 4 na. 40. Na 40. Tapos yung t, papalitan ko ng square root of 2. 4 times square root of 2. Nagets nyo ba? Yes. Parang may mali. May mali nga. Hindi pwede kasi common factor dito yung 2. Gets nyo? Common factor yung 2. So, 2 times, may matitira dito na ano? 2t squared. Sabayan nyo ako. 2t squared, two squared plus squared 1 raised to 1 half. squared plus 1 two. raised to 1 half minus 2. Minus 2. Minus 2 na lang. Naintindihan po ba? Yes. 
Yes. Yes, sir. Tapos, kokopyahin ko pa yung 2t. Tapos, so 2t squared plus 1 raised to negative 1 half. Yan. So, ito ngayon yung pwede kong i-multiply. Naintindihan nyo po ba? Yes, sir. So, this is 4 times t times 2 t squared plus 1 raised to 1 half minus 2 times ito na. Magawin ko na lang siya nasa ilalim. Kasi exponent is negative. So we have 2 t squared plus 1. Raised to 1 half. Naintindihan po ba yun? Yes. So dito, gagawin natin square root of 2 yung t. So 4 times square root of 2. Multiplied by 2 times yung square root of 2. Kapag in-square ko, ano matitira na lang? 2. 2. And then, plus 1. Raise to 1 half. Ano ba to? 2 times 2, 4. No? 4 plus 1. Raise, ay di, 4 plus 1, 5. 5 raised to 1 half. Yun. Simplify ko na lang, ha? 5 raised to 1 half minus 2. Ayun. Over. Uh, square root of 2 squared is 2. 2 times 2. 4 plus 1. 5. So. 5 raised to 1 half. So pagandahin natin. No? 4 square root of 2. Multiplied by, ano ba to? Di ba square root of 5 minus 2 over square root of 5. Pagandahin pa natin ha. <laughs> Para magandang tingnan. 4 square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 5 minus 2 over square root of 5. So this is your final answer. So hindi ka nag-calcule. Everything is in terms of radicals. Naiintindihan po ba yun? Sir? Yes. Hindi na po ba siya irarationalize? Hindi na. Okay, no po, need. Po. Pero kung gusto mong irationalize, gawin natin. So multiply tayo ng square root of 5 sa taas at sa baba. Diba? So we have 4 square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 5 minus 2. And everything else is multiplied by square root of 5 and then divided by 5. Ain't behind? Yes, sir. So are you making square root of 2 times square root of 5? Magiging ano yun? Square root of 10. So you have 4 square root of 10 times square root of 5 minus 2 over 5. Ayan na. <laughs> Kung gusto mo, pwedeng ganyan nila yung sagot. Ayun din yan? Wala, nawala na sila. <laughs> nawala na. <laughs> so, kasunod dito guys, second and higher order derivative. So, saka na ito. Saka na ang mahalaga, natapos natin yung chain rule for differentiation at tayo ay nakapag-solve ng ilang mga examples. I think sufficient na naman yan. So, after this, uh, yung recording ay mawawala. No? I-upload ko na lang ang recording. Stop recording.